Yo, what up YouTube? <clears throat> what up, what up, what up? Welcome to another podcast, man. This ain't no one. Alright. Gonna be talking about a few things. You know what I'm saying? Probably get into a little bit of uh, spiritual interfacing 101. Uh, to further build... You know what I'm saying? Upon your foundation. Now, you guys, just because you heard the first podcast or part one, and if you haven't heard part one, it might be easier for you to go back and listen to the first podcast. And uh, that way you can build on top of that your foundation uh, pertaining to spiritual warfare, uh, reconnecting with the Most High. And what have you um, But uh, before I get started One thing I picked up uh, is uh, <clears throat> One thing I picked up off of uh, other people's live streams Is the fact that they generally have intermissions Where they play a song or something like that So I have a very eclectic uh, music list One of the things that I look for If you go back into my former categories I talk about how I find <clears throat> the nuances and uh, understanding people if I don't know them that well through music a good icebreaker is to ask about their playlist see if they'll let you look at it and what I do is I look at their playlist and I try to see okay what types of song they have what is the majority style of a song that they have uh, what is the vibe and feel of each of those songs and uh, I also try to look out for the anomalies in their playlist, the songs in there that don't really match the other songs, okay? Because these would be uh, kernels, okay? They would be kernels or fragments of uh, nuances or accents of peculiarity uh, in that person's uh, personality. And whether we just, you know, like a song just because we like a song, subconsciously, there is a reason why we like that song. All right, <clears throat> so consciously there's a reason there and then I go to start to look for those things, okay? In some way, it has to align in some type of way, right? So uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna start off by playing a song. The name of the song is by this dude named Dollar uh, and the name of the song is called Our Love or Our Number, actually. Our Number is the name of the song. And I listen to like a lot of eclectic very eclectic things for reasons this song in particular a lot of songs that i listen to um have a heavy bass line and i like to listen to heavy bass lines drum and bass and stuff like that when i'm in the gym you know what i'm saying uh because heavy bass lines the resonance of the sound going between your ears creates a vibration that tends to that tends to affect or vibrate that, that stimulate the pineal gland okay now i don't get into any of these eastern things or anything like that i've always liked bass but i started listening to it with intention you see what i'm saying spending a little bit of time listening to music that have bass because it will stimulate your pineal gland and your brain okay now i don't know what it does but it just sounds healthy right so i do it and that became one of the formats of music that i listen to it's music that that have uh heavy bass lines a lot of things i listen to is is very intent uh as a christian man you would never suspect the type of music that i listen to especially being black i remember when i used to load cars you know in that racist part of town man and what was so funny man it's a town, okay, the town, you know, is kind of racist, all right? But uh, I would be loading a car, all right? And it'll be, some, it'll be some white chicks and I'll be loading their car, their trunk. And then all of a sudden they'll cut on the radio or CD or something. And they'll switch to like, a, <laughs> they'll switch to like some type of rap song, one of these new rappers or whatever that's doing drill or whatever, right? And they'll be and they'll be bumping that and they'll turn it up in the car 
and then make sure that I could that I could hear it, right? So you went from listening to no music to me loading your car, and now you had the music turned up. This is not gang stalking, you guys. It, would, it might appear that way because we've been under a lot of stress. It's just that when they start playing that song, it's like, okay, you know, when you started your car, you switched your MP3 or your CD player to some type of song. All right. In particular, that was not the original song it was on. So how did you not know that you wanted to listen to the first song that was going on to naturally play? Right. So indirectly, that would be something that reflects gang stalking in the sense of the mind frame of the things that you've been through when people talk to somebody else, but it's directed to you. Right. That's one of those things. So they start playing the song and I'm thinking in my head, like I start chuckling, like, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I get it. I understand. <laughs> you know what I mean? I understand. Meanwhile, I have my earbud in and I'm listening to like heavy metal music. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, heavy metal, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I, I just think it's funny because like, that's what I mean about the blindness of this world. People are so, so asleep that basically if they're not using their their mind okay anything that they see they're going to see and base it upon uh, a secular stereotype that has been placed on somebody i mean i listened to rap and shit like in the 90s but when niggas start fucking up and it became like super superficial about you need to wear this or need to wear that uh i don't know i guess it just pissed me off i started listening to metal and drum and bass you know what i'm saying and uh, <clears throat> that's just the thing. It got too difficult to find uh, real hip hop artists. It really did. Uh, so I just was like, screw it. And I was surprised, you know, because like I said, I listen to, I have a wide range of music. I was actually watching Young Steel's podcast, Rise Up. And it just, it just was funny to me because he said, uh, he was like, yeah, I was actually looking for a ninth wonder beat and I was just like, whoa, this, dude, this, <laughs> this nigga knows who ninth wonder is. You know what I'm saying? That's a, that's a real nigga, right? Ninth wonder, you guys, is this producer. I think he's based out of like Switzerland. All right. <laughs> and his beats, you know what I'm saying? It's so soulful and also at the same time, just heavy man they're, they're they're off the hook right and um yeah that was back in my california days knife one knife wonder and fontaine and uh back in my back in my uh, backpacker uh break dancing days and shit fuck i feel old man holy shit right back in, <laughs> back in my old school dancing days see <clears throat> i used to be into dance um uh, you know what i'm saying hip-hop dance and shit and uh the, the, the choreographers for the Jabberwockies, okay, if any of y'all watched America's Best Dance Crew, those, those were my instructors, okay? <laughs> those were my instructors. They started out in Sacramento, all right? In Sacramento, they taught a class, and there was these dudes, this Kevin, Joe, uh, this is other brother named Phil, there's a breakdancing dude named TJ, right? But when you see them on stage, they all have on that mask, right? Which I respect, because it's like egoless, right? Don't pay attention to me, just pay attention to what I am saying. Pay attention to the message. We're communicating something with our dance. It's an expression. And the body being a communication device, everything you do is an expression, whether you mean to or not. It's a personification of something spiritual in terms of how you feel, right? Sometimes you don't even have to say anything, you just know, right? You just know, right? So, so anyways, yeah, man, like, uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna play this beat real quick. I'm gonna get my mind right so that uh, I could get into this because I wrote some notes, you guys, and honestly, my whiteboard on my, uh, on my refrigerator that I write them up with a, with a marker, man, it, <clears throat> honestly, I'm embarrassed, you know what I'm saying, when family comes over, you know to see it i always think to myself like should i take this down because i look crazy to them you know what i'm saying 
Um, if you ever seen that movie, you know, a long time ago, they used to get my, my mom, my sister got worried because they were like, yo, you, you know, when you write on the board or when you write down your notes or whatever, it's so complicated, right? It looks like that dude, she was saying, like, you remind me of this dude in this movie called Beautiful Mind, right? It's like equations and graphs and all kinds of crazy, right? So, so I'm going to look at the notes, you know what I'm saying, that I posted up there. And I'm going to try to find my mind that I was in at that point in time so that I could, I could create a, um, it, 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 it's like a skeleton, right? It's a skeleton of different things that I want to touch on. So in the meantime, this song is uh, by Dollar and it's called uh, Our Number, okay? So I'm gonna play that for you guys real quick uh, while I get myself together and we're gonna kick this uh, podcast off, all right? Oh, 
I'm part of the group and shit, right? <laughs> Everybody's prideful about their playlist. I'm not gonna lie. Everybody gets a little sensitive and jerked up. I don't say anything, right? Uh, I like the song, you know. Um, I like abstract beats and what have you. A lot of t a lot of times, you guys like. Uh, I even listen to. Uh, I even listen to like Japanese like Japanese metal, I listen to Korean rap because music is a communication. It's something that you can feel. And even though I might not know what you said, I'm working on my senses, all right? Because somewhere in the dichotomy of how I was created, it's all in a boot somewhere. It's all in a folder somewhere, every single language, the entire Rosetta Stone. And I know how to speak it perfectly, right? That's what I believe, right? It's in theory. It's not, it's not like I really got it yet, but more and more now, like when I come across it, I look at a video and somebody is speaking German or something like that. I'm able to pick up, you know, a surprising amount of words without having any idea what the hell they're talking about exactly, right? I could kind of piece together the puzzle, right? Same thing with like Spanish and stuff like that. If I really focus, I start to be able to piece together at the rate that they're speaking okay so <clears throat> listening to different forms of music will expand your mind even different languages sometimes you know sometimes you could watch um you know some shit on telemundo right and you can piece together since they're acting along with it like a children's book and learn you know a lot about the language in terms of studying you know body language and stuff like that if you're bored and we all get those times where we're bored and we absolutely feel like i don't feel like doing anything in particular that's when you take time to practice your meditation you know if anything you know practice to start to remember it at those points in time you know cut on a movie that you're exceedingly familiar with right that doesn't necessarily entertain you anymore but is entertaining enough and watch that movie on mute okay and through their expressions and body language see how successful that actor is and to be able to convey those emotions and feelings you know what I'm saying in the in, in the video right and sometimes you could you could you could put the caption on right if you just don't focus on the caption and look at can look at them focus on them just doing the acting so if you feel like you get lost or anything like that you can reference the caption to see if the things you're seeing is lining up with what's going on in the scene all right so don't forget your don't forget your your tactics the things that i'm telling you guys you don't hear this anywhere else man you really don't uh, so yeah so <clears throat> That's just uh, another meditation thing that I get into. You know, there is nothing traditional in which you have to just calmly sit and, you know, pretty much just like quiet your mind or whatever. You know, sometimes you meditate on things. I, I like to meditate on things, right, personally. And, uh, you know, in this podcast, man, I uh, I want to uh, remind you guys, man, 
uh, right off the jump to, to build further upon, you know, why, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people, okay, look, a lot of people in gang-like culture don't know that God is gangster with his shit, right? God is gangster about his shit. Where the fuck you think we get the swagger from, bro? You understand? Look at all the other nations. They have our swagger, right? They hate us, but they have our swagger, right? You cannot hate me, right? If I'm following Christ and not, and, and, and not hate God, right? Now, I ain't saying I'm perfect and I have my faults and things like that. But when I deal with the public, when I go out and how I conduct myself in my business, you know what I'm saying? I'm straightforward. I'm honest. And what forth and have you. So when I look at my attributes of character and there's no reason for you to hate me, then automatically we can deduct that this may have something to do with some type of uh, prejudice or a previous event. All right. Say a dude has a daughter and he really wanted her to uh date uh, uh you know what i'm saying a caucasian dude or whatever and uh, maybe you know what i'm saying she you know what i'm saying she didn't maybe her boyfriend is a black dude you know what i'm saying or asian dude you know what i'm saying so it's not personal and it's not that he's racist but it's just like it's a reminder of like fuck man you know what i'm saying that's probably one of those things and i'm not saying that anybody it's wrong about that. You could have hopes and dreams. Lord knows I had them. Past tense, right? Now that I'm learning how to do spiritual warfare, I kind of like this thing better than the original hopes and dreams I had. And I thought it was a bad thing, but then God is always good. So I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, right? Something to think about that targeting has done more for you than it has not, right? It takes work. It takes work. A lot of times do anything. And though you want the rewards, you don't want to, you don't want to put in the blood, sweat and tears. You know what I'm saying? And it is as a shepherd to prod you along and make sure that you do exactly that thing. Right? To put in the work and to put in the time. All right? So that's something to think about. But the Lord is, a, is, 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 is he, if, if there's gangs, they will still find, and this is what I mean about scripture. I could talk to anybody. Now, a lot of dudes, you know what I'm saying? They will look at me and they will say, this dude is a square. Well, Normally that's not what they say. Normally to them, I look like a, I'm some dude in the military, high up in the military, or <laughs> I look like a police officer. That's, nor that's normally the two things that I get. So I know with a lot of you guys talking about ops, if the minute you come across me, especially since I have one headlight out on top of everything, you know what I'm saying? How I don't walk with swagger, but I walk with intention. You know what I'm saying? To other people, that appears very serious. You know, when really, why is that a serious thing other than a guilty conscience, right? So I am rather questioned than they question themselves. I was never here, right? If I know I'm base and I am stock, you know what I'm saying? Just plain old whatever. And if you're not base and stock, it's okay you know what I'm saying? Where typically all the entire time, all the plight was on me, but people learn to favor it because I'm kind of like a control arm. You know what I'm saying? If you have test subjects, you do like an experiment on one subject, and then you have like the control group, right? Where they just kind of stay steady. So let's say you grew up, and I mean, this is down to the core. This is how God defined me. and. People are like, well, what do you mean? Well, I grew up even in the Midwest, right? I'm in the middle of America, in the very fucking middle, right? So let's say if you live on the West Coast, that's gonna look like how it's gonna look like to me. Versus if you came all the way from the East Coast, 
and vice versa with the East Coast, right? Your accent, your swagger, whatever. Why are there Jerseyans? Why do Bostonians act a certain way? Why can you be in California and look at a nigga? You just look at him, right? And usually the nigga got some interest in swagger and, uh, you know, those, those dudes over there, you know what I'm saying? They be pretty skinny, right? Because everything's so fucking expensive, for heaven's sakes, right? And they be looking kind of like tired, but then like they're too cool to be tired. Yeah, you look at them straight away and you're like, hey, that look like a New York motherfucker, right? Think about it. What if this was finding Nemo? We swimming in the ocean and shit. You know every type of fish that's in there. What part of the ocean they came from, right? They didn't go to school for that. Think about it. There's a school of fish or a flock of birds. Either way on the fish, it has something called a lateral line, okay? How do that school of fish all know that they're gonna swiftly turn to the left at the drop of a dime and they all turn together at the same time as if they are one unit? Well, scientifically, science would say that that's the lateral line. But if you're looking at spiritual interfacing, Hold on. If you're looking at spiritual interfacing, then you know that for my background in visual effects, seems like I've freaking done everything. It, I went to school for visual effects, special effects. They have a program called Adobe After Effects. All right. So if anybody's familiar with this or you have used any 3D software, there's something called a particle emitter, right? And the particle emitter sends out like these little dots right out into the field and then you can address the dots you can make the dots you could turn them into fish you could do whatever you want to do but the dot just indicate the direction and flow that each of those particles are going to move in a uniform way you click the uniform button right so when fish swim together a school of fish it is as if they have one mind same as with the birds the only ones you can't do that with are people, right? The moon sign. Again, the moon follows its own way. It doesn't have an exact cycle like everything else in the galaxy, right? How does that not indicate mankind? And to further accelerate that, we the moon even further, the womb or, or the moon being uh, representing the feminine principle, right? Which in structural creation, the masculine principle are the creatures or the part of creation that was created first. So if you're of spirit or created of spirit, you are of fire, okay? You are of fire, okay? And, uh, <clears throat> see, see, I just be going to the spirit and I lost where I was going. Let, let me catch, let me get back to where I was at. Um, yeah, you're created of fire which would be like the masculine principle, right? And uh, and if you were created of the earth, okay, you're like an elemental of the earth. And we know that the moon controls the water on the earth, right? Your body is 80% water, right? But a man does not have the same build and buoyancy as a woman right so she is stronger in the feminine principle all right in the feminine principle all right so <clears throat> uh, i forget what point i was going to make with this or where i was going to go with this but the fact of the matter is oh yeah the direction and flow of the particles women right have a more because men are more logical and rational Women tend to be more whimsical and emotional. Their emotions make them whimsical and, and fickle in most natural set cases. All right. That's just the truth. You know, hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. You have no idea what she's up to, what she's going to do if she gets pissed off. Right. That's just the thing. You know, uh, if you're a 90s nigger, then you remember women in the 90s before all this feminist movement stuff. 
you know, women were a lot more agreeable, a lot more just like, well, I don't know, right? That's representing the spirit or the nature of a woman. But men, in comparison to God, we are as females. Why? Because whether you're male or female, the reason why we are indicated, the, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying, as the moon, when you think of Michael Jackson, uh, uh, you know, uh, or whatever, he had a picture of his face on the moon, right? Because we fell in the Garden of Eden. Therefore, technically, we are all lawless. That's why he came and brought the law. He's saying because you fell, you're not able to naturally follow this law effortlessly. So now you have to have knowledge of this law. And that law is the knowledge of sin, which brings death. The knowledge of sin and death is the commandments that were brought. Yet none can stand against it because the, the law is divine. Right? It's either you're doing these things or you're trying to. Right? Now, when you go on the spirit, you're able to do it more naturally. And also in the sense when you have Christ, you are under grace. Christ came and fulfilled the law and he balances out your inconsistency. Basically, he's doing it all because if you break even just one of all 613 plus commandments, you don't broke them all. They have to be performed perfectly. Christ knew no man could do this, right? So what does that, what does that sound like? Well, after we fell because the devil is God of this world. This is the wager, ultimately, that he probably placed between himself and God. He's like, okay, well, listen, they don't have to get stuck down here in this trap if they could fulfill divine law. I'm not saying that's in the Bible. It's not. I'm just saying, think about it. There was quite a span of time before Moses delivered the commandments, right? So... <laughs> Christ already knew in Genesis already before all this happened, even what the devil was going to do. This is how you're quick. He already knew what wager the devil was going to bring. God let them know what would happen and everything like that. But him giving them clothing was a sign. You know what I'm saying? He was letting them know like, fuck, I'm going to have to come back down here and save them, right? So that's what he did. But that, you know what I'm saying? We're all the way up in Exodus. There had been a flood since then that destroyed the world, the whole nine. Why? Because man cannot do it. You cannot do those commandments. The thing about sin, if you have knowledge of it, you don't want to do it. Natively, psychologically, intellectually, you do not want to do it. That is your natural state of conscience. Hey, this, there's a line here, like, I don't want to go over this line. I don't want to do nothing more than this because that would be a dishonor, right? Nobody had to tell you that stealing was wrong. You just already knew that. That's a conscious thing, right? Nobody told you not to kill nobody, right? You don't want to kill anybody and you know that killing is bad. That's why you don't want to do it. Nobody told you that. Your parents never sat you down in school where you may get in a couple of fights and then just change the conversation to, hey, listen, I don't want you to kill anyone in your life. Make sure you have self-control. Don't kill anyone, right? You just knew and they knew that you knew that already because it should be in your nature. So what happens when somebody falls or if you take a contract? Well, <clears throat> if you take a contract, okay, then what fundamentally happens is, is that line begins to disappear, okay? Then you do what's rational, right? Yo, this guy stepped on my sneakers this new Popeye's fucking chicken sandwich is out. Right? Tired of waiting. Gotta stab this guy 30 times in the neck one time. It's Popeye's, nigga. Shit is cracked, son. Right? Come on, man. 
come on, look at look at the day and age that we're living. That line is gone. Now the guy that stabbed the guy in Popeyes, did he take a contract? No. Which I'm indicating two points. The contracts that you take are not binding, but the rituals and things that the devil makes you do after you take a contract, that's what causes that line to disappear. You're getting oppressed by spirits. It doesn't mean that that line is not there, but if you're convoluted with spirits, you're not gonna be able to find that line. You're just gonna do what's rational. This person pushed me. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna kill his dog, right? If he didn't want me to kill his dog, he shouldn't have pushed me, right? On one ground, it sounds rational, right? On one ground, it sounds rational. Maybe overreacting, but rational. On another ground, right? To us, it sounds like, yo, what the fuck? What the hell? Like, yeah, the dude shouldn't have pushed you. You just tag him in the mouth. You don't, you don't kill his fucking dog, right? Who thinks like that? Knowledge does. Knowledge of man. Because the knowledge of man and man's history of knowledge is evil. Now, a lot of you may be keeping up with the tech department or whatever, but they, Google, I believe, or no Microsoft, want to do something to patent the voices of the people who died. In other words, they can have like, use their voice over some automated thing and their consciousness to respond to people online. It was a patented thing, it, it, it works. But what they found out that ultimately when they try to build an AI, uh, uh, AI using crowdsourcing or the collective mind of the resources of man's knowledge on the internet, that that AI came out evil. Why? Because man's knowledge, the history of man's knowledge and the sum of it and the greatness of it and the multi multiplicity and uh, of it all is it, imperfect knowledge. Therefore, it's incredibly wicked and it's evil. Now, automatically in terms of that and in system interfacing, if you're working on base principles such as your brain and not your mind, okay, then you will find that the rationality of this person pushed me so I'm gonna shoot their dog, there's the whole conscious part that's missing. The part that says, hey, that's fucking crazy, that's way over the line. So how are they thinking? They are thinking like a computer. That's why you see so many bots around you walking in the street doing the robot barely able to drive or focus right <sighs> you know back in the day commercials used to be closer from 45 seconds to a minute 30 seconds you ever remember watching a cartoon show then the fucking commercial come on and you're like sitting there watching the commercial for a year and you're like yo is my cartoon still running or what notice they don't do that anymore because they studied and what they realized is that man's attention span while I was diagnosed with hyperactive disorder in the 80s is shortening. So now when we look at commercials, you, or you could say when you got up to, uh, by the 2000s, the commercials were 30 seconds long. Right? You get past the 2000s, they shorten it down. 20 seconds to 15 seconds, 15 to 20 seconds. That's what you get. And you say, oh, we lost quite a bit of time, but we're still okay. Well, wait, why did the Vine become a sensation? Six second videos, right? This resonance or this way of thinking or this attention span degradation was spiritually taken over generations of time. And then when you also watch commercials or television and TV, they found that just like it, when you see in the movie Fight Club, you can splice uh, a piece of footage between film. So if you ever been outside of a room and somebody was watching TV and you look back and the hall, you know, the room you're in is dark and you just see the light from the TV, emitting from the TV. And you see in that room, 
it looked like fluorescent, maybe ultraviolet light. It's like, it's flashing. Right, the false god, right? The Illuminati, it's your, t- it's your fucking TV, man. So, <laughs> anyways, you're looking at it flashing, then all of a sudden, for like a couple flashes really quick, it's like super pr- bright, like a like a lightning bolt. Right? What they had did was splice something into that footage and they used that to control or advertise. You know, this is like some type of shit. This is like some they live type of shit. Yeah, they actually studied it. They perfected it and they do it. That's what you're seeing. When the light gets brighter, for those quick flashes, they splice some footage in there to manipulate your mind. It's too quick for your eye to pick up if you are seeing 60 pictures per second. Your brain just blends it all together. No different than when you go online and for any of you body that's heard of binaural beats, they'll play one BPM in one ear and another BPM in another ear. But by the time both of those sound frequencies enter into your brain, your brain homogenizes them. In other words, make it, makes it into or hears it as one frequency, which brings us up to the next meditation exercise, listening to binaural beats and being able to have the focus to separate both of those frequencies that your mind is able to say, this is one frequency and this is another frequency. Because it was studied based upon a blueprint where they blend together. Now, let's take it back to the Twin Towers when they collapse and they rebuilt it as one twisting tower. They do the same thing everywhere. DNA has 46 chromosomes. Niggas crazy spinning at top dollar for them Jordans, right? 23 on either hill, either hill. That's 46 chromosomes, alchemy, right? What you wearing, young man? Principality of the air, it's the Air Jordans. Right? That's why by the time they come at me, it's tic-tac-toe. I was never there, right? I see clear to the center, man. It's a lot to deal with, you know what I'm saying? Hard to get a girlfriend. Shit, in order for me to find a wife, at this point, if we have to be evenly yoked, God would have had to been preparing somewhere, somebody that I fucking just fucking hate. That's Miss Smith. Now me, I'm not a Smith. Because we know that's a Canaanite name. Not anything pertaining to the Canaanites, but in the in the in the film, alright. Morpheus and the others were from Zion, right? As in they were free. And the Canaanite, right? The Canaanite worship the Canaanite gods. The world religions that will come together to come against us in Christianity and though they have all the answers they want the codes or the keys to Zion inside of us welcome to your targeting spiritual interface 101 in TV shows they call this shit a cold open right (laughs) for real for real for real, for real. So, uh, hey man, you know, Agent Smith and this world, where well, you guys talk about bots, okay? Agent Smith, if we are targeted and we are as Christ, right? Christ said, you will be as the wheat of the field. What does locust do to wheat? So when we talk about the locusts and revelations, 
to keep up with the system, we have to understand each word and every prospect that it can be. Meaning, instead of focus on locusts, focus on what locusts do to define the locusts around you in society and who's targeting you. Spirits. Right? There's locusts that's physical and they eat the vegetation. And spiritual locusts would have the same nature. Wouldn't the physical locust have a spirit of a locust? Right? They eat the wheat. They harm the grass of the field and they bring famine. And the famine that's happening right now in the world that is being brought about the world is the same in such as 2013. I've been trying to get niggas back to the commandments and back to God because <laughs> now we have a real famine when before we had a famine of the word. The word convicts men to do the thing that's right. And though you have free will to do the things that is wrong, eventually when it's time to pay the tab, you come up a little short. Right? Well, this is a money thing, but men's choices controls their money. Their actions. And then when from corporate structures all, all, all the way down to the street, when business gets too cutthroat, on the streets they kill. And corporate niggas lose their jobs. And sometimes they kill. If they crazy, they come back and light the whole place up. Right? Think about it. Even in Japanese tradition, the Yakuza, a gang. But the top players, businessmen. Whoa. Right? Niggas could lose a finger and some shit. So transactions don't come out right. There's no fight for that. It's just an understanding. They both know it's not even a conversation. Napkin already laid out on the table and shit. Hey man, them corporations, man. Those are beasts. Fuck. You understand in the Bible? Corporations are beasts. They got more money than the fucking government. Wouldn't that be a deeper secret society? Then they go on some shit today. Hey man. It's the Sabbath. Happy Sabbath, y'all. It's funny, man. And people wanna listen to me because they always thought the truth would come in some like meek little steel voice out of some little fucking field mouth mouse. Like that nigga on Ralph, nigga? Shit. Not exactly. All right? Now, I want to be very clear. My brothers and sisters out there that's doing this word of God, I'm going to give you guys a channel. There's a channel called Unplug Em. Uh, and the brother's name is Brother Theo. He's a Nuwabian, very intelligent Christian brother, too. All right? That's good information. And I will tell you, man, in and there's another brother named also, if you guys want to keep abreast of events, I mean, this dude is, his brain is on a, he's operating at a crazy level, right? Like when it come down to policies and all that other shit, it, it, that channel is Days of Noah, D-A-Y-Z-O-F-N-O-A-H, all one word, Days, Days of Noah, all right? Ama amazing channel, very good content. Okay, he, come, he comes from the Bay Area too, because I lived in the Bay for a while. That backpacker, b-boy era. Um, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Look at all that swagger already in God's kingdom. Now these brothers would look at me and they're able to conduct themselves, but you guys, I am growing. Something's coming with just time. Age is actually a thing. I was like, you know, when they say age, age is a thing, man. And wisdom is a thing. 
And I know Days of, Days of Noah and Unplug Them, you guys, for, for I'm Rough for some of you guys out there. Um, hey, man, this is a heavy metal ministry on this channel. All right? You know what I'm saying? It's Smash Mouth over here, right? <laughs> this, <laughs> this, is, this is for them. She's a little bit leaning to the wolves shot, but we still in the kingdom, right? You can't help it, man. You're just wild like that, right? Little rascal with the cow lick, right? So, those brothers' channel are more, uh, more like professional, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not a preacher or anything, you guys. I'm a, uh, I'm like a servant. I'm just like a, I'm, I'm kind of more of like a, like a soldier or, I don't know, as they like to describe, like, like Equalizer or Jack Reacher. I don't know what to say. I'm kind of more of an instrument than I, I, I am kind of human, right? I'm human, but like I'm an instrument. You understand? I just hit record, man. I don't know most of the time at all. I don't have any notes or anything. I just, I had a few today, which I, everything we talked about so far, you guys, straight from the hip. I haven't even gotten to the board yet, okay? I haven't. You know, we're at the stream. So, going back, okay? Agent Smith, you got locusts of the field. So those are the people around you that got negative things to say. Um, talk behind your back. You know, don't have anything positive. All right? You could hit that entire locust with your prayer. The ones that's there and the ones that's thinking all they way coming. You can knock all them niggas out at one time. <laughs> or you could get into these little quarrels and fights at your job and lose your job. Right? You could do that. The reason why I shut up when people are about that shit or doing that shit and the reason why I agree with them is not only so that they can become more delusional, but also so I could get more information about me and their surrounding area so i'm more agreeable <laughs> i'm a peaceful sociopath <laughs> right i'm like i'm not violent but like i'm not harmless <laughs> yeah that's some scary shit. That's like crazy insanity at the same time. And I'm more scared of the sanity part. Right. After your locust, you have demonic gatekeepers. Okay. You have gatekeepers. These are the people that control the flow of society. All right like an electric current, they control where the power is allocated, whom gets what jobs, and how. You see, it's not always as direct as the individual, it's actually more so coming from a higher place. Don't break the person, break the person through the stronghold that's controlling. That's what I do. And yeah, my targeting is done. I could tell you that ELF are demons. I get in confrontations all the time. Some people are like, you know, I hear frequencies. That's because there's all kinds of spirits that come up and talk to me and start that shit. That's when you be chilling and all of a sudden you're doing something totally different. Some negative ass thought out of nowhere gets in your mind. Yeah, it's trying to trap you, the mighty hunter. Once it traps you and captivates your mind, you do all those thoughts, you don't feel the same way you used to. Something's gotten into you. Right? So I cast it off and in the astral plane, I have a wall. A lot of times I like to scare them first by showing them my wall. It's an electrical field wall of all the demons that I sent there. 
I threw it up before Christ. And that's where they get. They get stuck on the wall. They get electrocuted. They lose limbs. Right? But I mean, let's be honest. It's probably better than the bottomless pit. At least you get a little bit of light sometimes with me. <laughs> right? And every time a new one comes, I, I, I remind them how their loyalty sucks to one another because they're not even considerate or aware, right? That maybe they shouldn't do that out of consideration for the other that's stuck on the wall because that's a bonus shock. APR, interest, you understand? Nobody gets out for free. I have to pay taxes, right? So, they get sent to the wall. Yeah, the electricity is so bright, it's like a bright pink light. These are the signs of those, uh, these are the signs, uh, uh, these are the signs that shall follow them. That was speaking of a pe peculiar people, okay, the 144K, the 144,000, all right? They make all these shows and stuff, and they're all my, they're my code names. This, this motherfucker Red knew me. That's why my life was so fucked up. All my friends are cloned. They're dead, but they're still walking on Earth. I don't know whether to say hi or not. I don't know who's right or who's wrong. Right? That's a whole nother person. I can't even be mad with you. I just thought you looked familiar. Right? 144,000. Remember what I showed you when you watch Avengers Endgame, right? Avengers Endgame, there was uh, the ancient one. You know, that bald headed chick. You know what I'm talking about, Tilda Swinton or something like that, right? And Hulk was up there to get the time song and he was talking to her like, you know, he's like three times her size in height, a Nephilim. And he's like, yo, listen, I'm here for that time stone. I really don't got much time. So he just went to grab it. And then with one hit, not even for force or anything like that, with one hit, she sent that dude flying back and through the back of his body flying, Bruce Banner flew out, his astral body, casting out spirits. See? You kind of upgrade it, you're in a manager position, you have to pray now, right? And when you pray, you talk about a case, something you experience, and you throw that up to God. Now, we can have group cuddle fucks or whatever on here and console our problems, or we could throw it before the court, God, and we know he will do something, right? Yeah, it'll happen, it'll scare the shit out of you. You'd be like, what the fuck happened to him? When I went into Walmart the other day, I knew God tore that place up by the way people's face looked. They didn't look right. They could see me and they thought it was a ghost. They were scared as fuck. Okay? Their eyes was glossed over. Right? They weren't high. It was sorrow. In the end, we all believe and we all go to church one day. I'm a peaceful sociopath. I said nothing wrong, but we all get the message that wasn't a threat. Articulate with my words, uncondemnable. The art of being blameless is just as savage as it is precise. Eyes closed, extrasensory, aimless. <laughs> These dudes ain't gonna be able to use their hands. They ain't gonna have the power of that spirit in them to do it. Yeah. Did you know the human body would be dead without a spirit? The spirit is the animating principle of your body. 
Dim Mock. Remember, I was telling you that. Think of that scene, Avengers Endgame. That's what I told you. That's what I want to do. Yeah, you getting a couple fights, but shit. I want to knock somebody's astral ass outside the back of their body. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Cast out them spirits, man. That person might be all right otherwise. You have a seal. These spirits can't penetrate you. That's why the others seem like bots. They're under the spirits of the dead. Those are dead spirits. Yeah. So. The gatekeepers control the flow of power. The current. Remember, alternating current. The blue and the red. The blue and the red. Democrat, Republican. Blue and red. Crips and Bloods. Blue and red. The drug come in from the top, it's laundered to the bottom. Right. Bada boom, bada bang. Right? Everybody gets paid. Fuck it. Gotta have a lot of money to get a job. That's a college degree. Fuck. <laughs> man. I'm telling y'all, man. I'm telling y'all. So the gatekeepers, all right? These niggas are not controlling the city. They're not controlling all of these people in America with fucking, with fucking, uh, with fucking a few police in the military. No. Because there's people in the police and military. Huh? Sorcery. Yeah. They could find out anything that's going on in this city. Yeah, superhuman ability. There's demons here. And you will find, fellas, demons ain't like they portray in the movie. Those are the ones you want to marry. Damn, he's doing double speak. I'm not. I'm saying, you don't know what's out here. Those underground parties where people disappear. Right? Eyes wide shut. Huh? What does it mean to have the key to the city? He's not walking around like a janitor. Okay? No, 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 no. Not this motherfucker. The key to people's brains. Right? You're in a video game. Remember. Some see witchcrafting, spirits, others see programming. It's a real thing you can't see, but you still feel it. How you fight with yourself. That's mind control. Understand? So. If anything, I'm going to tell you guys, man, it is uh, the reason why what the Lord said, what he didn't say, if I could quote the Lord in these days to come, because the way we make money and eat may become interesting. Right? The Lord said no snitching. When they put him up there on them false charges, he never snitched. No Takashi 69 King of New York. You understand? 
Don't work like that. You don't rat on your family. <laughs> and then that, I'm sorry. I don't think he can offend the Lord. He was accused for our sins. Not a word. Peaceful sociopath. He's thinking, let the games begin. What we are all struck by, that was nothing for me. Rather than anything on this path that he blesses you with, remember your core. Your gifts are for shit without a strong heart. Now, I know this is difficult for everybody, how I talk. I know I cuss a lot. I'm kind of expressive. I'm kind of peaceful, but kind of aggressive. But if I'm evil, I use it for good. Right? And that would sound sadistic. But I just deliver the message precise. Don't get it twisted. That's, that's the edge of the blade. Connect it. You can see either side. Precision, right? That's how it goes, man. You know what I mean? We'll be driven to the factory. Oh. And I'm self-aware in the spirit, lest I prophesy. This is analysis. We force the factory and warehouse jobs. They'll treat you like a number there. These are the new slaves. The engineers, upscale living. Doctors, upscale living. A separating has begun of the classes and inflation. This old world was about hard skills. This new world will be about soft ones. People may have to hustle, may have some problems. Crime rate will go up. Potential martial law, what the fuck? Right? Now you guys, if I prophesy, I prophesy accidentally, it's not me. I'm not a prophet, all right? All the prophets came and died. But in the scripture, it says some of y'all shall prophesy the Holy Spirit. I'm clarifying to be precise, is the one that's prophesying. These are not in my notes on the board. I haven't gotten to those yet. You understand? <laughs> no snitching. That came from God. You know what the devil is? Takashi 6 9. He snitches. What he does is he tempts you to do evil. Right? And then after you do evil, he rats on you. What he does is he goes before the Father and makes all these accusations towards you to try to get God to put a bar over you. And that's what I reverse engineered and did to him. 
so he can't move. Not with free will. Or he could tell the truth, which they said, the devil is a liar. He can't. You see how intricate this shit is? Highly cerebral, right? Holy Spirit. The legalese, you guys, the legalese is stronger even than casting out spirits. Because the legalese, when you pray, you're actually a politician for the high kingdom. Court is in session. You're like a lawyer. You're raising evidence. You're justifying the things you already know that you've done wrong. Maybe you don't know what the devil saw. What's done in the dark will be exposed before the light. That's the devil ratting on you. The light bearer. The rat. Takashi 6 9 <sighs> You understand? Look at this clown. Right? There was a gang, they let him in. Right? This nigga just look like a fucking Skittles box. Right? And that says a lot, and I ain't gonna say any more. Out of respect. But that's the king of New York. That's where we're at. Does this nigga even rap anymore? How is he the king of New York? No one challenges. You think God likes that shit? He's of no consequence, but what it represents. Christ went to the cross against an evil report, a report that wasn't true. A lie, a gossip. He's wrong, wrongfully convicted. I think like the judge points his Pilate, he, he's like, yo, I'm not going to convict this dude, man. That's, that's fucking madness. I can't do it. A cousin of mine just got out of jail for 40 years. Convicted for a murder. And he wasn't even at the fucking crime scene. You know what I'm saying? They did some type of GoFundMe shit and he got like, you know what I'm saying, a million dollars. But he wasn't even a, he wasn't even in the area. You understand? What causes humans to error where they lose all their shit? Darkness. Right? They can't tell if somebody's telling the truth about you. They just say it and they believe it. They don't even doubt it. Right. That's how you were programmed in school. I put this in and then you output it. Not to think. So we are like monkeys because we haven't become thinking men. And then after you become a thinking man or intellectual, right? You use that to become a conscious man, taking in the word of God. Going all the way back to connect the dot, I forgot. That's what makes the moon mankind. It's because the wisdom you receive it. And that's life. A psychedelic cedar tree. Right? That's what I'm talking about. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. So, 
uh, to think about some spiritual interfacing things, okay? I don't know how many of you guys are familiar with the Mandela Effect or what have you. Or if any of you guys seen that latest Doctor Strange movie with uh, Wanda, Wanda Vision in it. <laughs> I forgot her fucking name. Scarlet Witch. Shit. I know my shit. Alright. So. <laughs> anyway. In that movie there was some chick named America. And she was able to walk into different realities, realms, and dimensions based on if she got really afraid. Even I look back at my life and let me ask you this. How is it that I've done so much? That's kind of like a super soldier. Shootouts and the whole nine, man. All kind of bullshit. Right? I don't know how to fight. It just fucking, I don't know. Right? Most people you talk to well, what did you do? For the past 10 years, every Saturday I go home, I watch Vanilla Sky the movie and have some popcorn and butter pecan ice cream, right? They don't have nothing to talk about. They don't do nothing, right? Think of your life. When well, you got stabbed by a knife, we got this fucking targeted thing. We got Peter Parker syndrome. For any of you, like the only rare contact that I have is with my mother and sister. And most of the time I can't really say anything. Natural circumstance. Right? Who the fuck are you? Maybe you're a judge. King David was a judge. Right? You might be changing. Right? There's a, there's a power shift, I'm telling you, man. Demonic spirits and shit, man, they just... Nah, man. They don't even play with me. They just get sad. And I don't care, because I'm a peaceful sociopath. A guilty conscience you could feel. Right? But they all believe now. Some of them ran up to me when I was in the store. It's not about what happened, but what was seen. I don't need to talk about that. I just tell you how it's done. Right? So as you get stronger spiritually, you are like a Wi-Fi system. That gatekeeper you're gonna get in a fight with, but you could overtake him. Think of your Wi-Fi that only runs, you know what I'm saying, just around your couch to a Wi-Fi that runs your entire house, to a Wi-Fi that, you know what I'm saying, reaches the range of a subdivision, right? So it grows further and further out and we interconnect because we're spaced out like the stars in the sky. That's order in the court, right? You know what I'm saying? This shit is huge, bro. So, everybody in the city is gonna fight you. That's their spirits. They're all trying to get you to give in and break down because there's already something wrong. They're struggling. That span covers 
Like that key, only better. Awareness, intelligence, knowledge. It's just there. If you ever intersect, you'll have it. All of it. Naked. It's not about what you called me, but why you said that. And that's an insecurity. <laughs> Else you wouldn't have noticed. Accidental telepathy. Right? <sighs> I can't, when I focus on it, you guys, it does give me a little anxiety because like, that's scary. You know what I mean? So, I uh, stay away from people mostly. I'm a creature that likes to be alone for the most part. <laughs> Apparently my spirit animal is supposed to be a killer whale. At first I was excited. I thought that was a friendly animal until I seen why, 10 reasons why the killer whale it's like king of the ocean or some shit. And basically they're gang members, right? They go around, they play fucking football with the damn seal. Huh? They pull people to the bottom of the ocean, right? They trick birds, they'll throw some fish up on a ledge so that the bird will come down and get the fish next to the edge and then they'll hop out of the water and eat it. The fish and the bird didn't even leave the fish. Right? Right? They're crazy, man. They like to swim into shit. Right? They're crazy. They're kind of like, yeah. They're like wolves of the sea. They're like gang members. Now, I, I, I'm not supposed to believe in that spirit animal type of shit. But, like I said, man. I've been changing the other day, man, out of nowhere. I just start feeling all these downloads, bro. And I start doing like this backwards shovel, shuffle, right? Some Motown shit. And I recognize how that backwards shuffle, that's why they call boxing dancing. I don't box, but shit. Yesterday I did. I knew what I was doing. Okay. I don't know. Like I said, when I think about it, it's kind of scary, right? Then there's this move that James Brown does where he like, you know what I'm saying? Does that shuffle on the ground, kind of like that was converted into that MC Hammer dance, right? That's like that 45 degree angle is a stance like in Salat and Bushido Khan, right? Martial arts. Yeah. And like, then like jogging, jogging in place basically at a 45 degree angle, right? That's a, that's Jeet Kune Do. You could be jogging, or you could, <laughs> or you're already in, 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 in a light foot stance, you know what I'm saying, for confrontation. Very ninjutsu esque, I must say, if I knew what I was talking about. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. There was another component that came into me. It was a dude, it was like this super white dude at some type of prep school. He was like really smart. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I guess it's fragments of my soul. You know, it's like converged together. Cause I just be knowing shit and it's the Holy Spirit or something. You know what I mean? But before yesterday, yesterday was like, it was mainly stances. You know, I did some like punching, shadow, shadow boxing or whatever, but it was more about stances, but man, I'm really good at them. It was my first time doing it. I like, I like, 
I like uh, boxing and uh, it seems like it would cross over to building you know strong legs for uh, for uh, wrestling or jujitsu you know what I'm saying where you pace forward at, at, at like a at like a 45 degree angle right keep the lead foot forward and step forward with it first and then the back foot comes and you keep doing that hey you guys I fought I fought before my life it's not like I think I lost I lost one fight but uh it was like I was in the third grade but uh yeah I didn't know how to fight it was just you know what I'm saying? I just focus, like, no matter what's going to happen, this is going to be fucked up. This is going to be wrong. I'll, I'll go ahead and deal with the punishment. But, like, yesterday, <laughs> I, knew, I knew what the fuck I was doing. That scares me. Okay? This is not on my board. So, uh, Blessings are a thing, but normally if you get them, you probably will have to use them. So, I don't know what type of shit I'm in. Okay? But, I'll just let you know now, so that, you know what I'm saying, you guys, if that fucking happens, like, uh, you don't get freaked out, okay? It, it's spiritual, it's real, dude. Like, yeah. Some Iron Fist shit happened last night. If you ever watched that Marvel thing, the kid gets in a plane crash. The Danny Rand, he gets in a plane crash, right? And he lands in the freaking mountains and it's cold up there. And somehow he comes across some type of Tibetan monk and he learned how to do like Kung Fu and all that shit, right? And then fucking I didn't fucking, when he gets back to regular society, it's like nobody knows about this Tibetan monastery or something, and they made it like equitive to heaven. Like, I think that's the Holy Spirit. Because that's what it felt like l last night. I think I, I threw a kick wrong. One. I threw one wrong. And like, you could call it hallucinations, but dude, I seriously heard, I actually heard the voice of like this old Asian dude. And, and he was like rebuking me. Like tell me how to tell me how to do it right. Like like it was just a little bit off and it was just horrible. Like, hey man, these are very vulnerable things I say. And people hear this and say, yo, he's completely crazy. There's some this some Marvel shit, bro. We don't know what's gonna happen. Right? That's what I'm telling you. That's what it looks like. Right? I think if your program turns out bad, you become like a mass shooter or some type of shit. And I think there's a, I think there's other programs too because when I was at work, dude, like, there's a blind corner, like, you know, where you can't see somebody on the other side because the corner's like a sharp corner. And, uh, it was like this dude that, like, like, dude, like, this, if you ever seen a dude that has the hardcore dad vibes, you know what I'm saying? He's got, like, a Simpson shirt on and some, like, random blue shorts. Like, you can even find sh blue shorts anywhere, right? Just, like, normal as fuck, nicest guy in the world. Talks about playing World of Warcraft. Likes this new car. Dude, we both crossed over. When, when, when I turned the corner and he walked walked towards me, we we both got kind of startled when we seen each other, and like I was halfway in assist. This dude had jumped back twice in a short space, like a video game. I don't know. I <laughs> I ain't lying. And and one arm was like way up in the air, and the way he was he was like swaying <laughs> was like a scorpion, and uh, <laughs> and it was like. <laughs> It's like I recognize that. That's like that, that's like a Middle Eastern uh, knife fighting style, right? 
he had a bracelet around his wrist and you normally when you put bracelets around your wrist that you know they kind of hang a bit but his bracelet was you know snug on his wrist you know what i'm saying and that's because you know he's probably been a combat you know what i'm saying because when you shoot an automatic weapon and shit that shit will like you know what i'm saying if you have a bracelet on it'll get annoying it'll be like you know what i'm saying moving all around shit so you have it tighter so yeah man dude's probably some type of special forces dude or maybe he's like me i don't know but you would never expect this guy at all like not even me i was supposed to i had to give respect man and somehow naturally you know what i'm saying when we both seen it was cool it was no conversation to be spoken nothing to talk about i kind of nodded like bowed and i carried on and, and he walked up yeah we're cool we were talking in the break room a couple days later totally forgot about the incident the fuck was that right we're going to my memory these are memory files this podcast i guess is going to be a little bit wild because i didn't really plan most of this i don't like really expose too much about myself but it does deal with spiritual interfacing of a freaking video game because just like neo was programmed in the matrix man it was just like yo all these downloads came yesterday swagger and all kind of shit like that bro for real for real you know what i'm saying like god is a thing i'm just saying hypothetically speaking he is a thing but all of those things i got yesterday i received so you see the confusion of the other religions Spiritual is a thing, physical is a thing. But you cannot understand spiritual things by understanding physical things. Only representations of it. And if this world is a lie, you have to reflect that lie off the truth. And that's the light who is Christ, right? <laughs> yeah, that's how I be getting down and meditate, man. I be meditating. Oh shit. And the longer like I just fucking the long the longer I have to like meditate, it just gets stronger, man. So like bro, ain't nobody fucking with me. I'm just being honest. I don't know what the fuck they put in there. I mean it's probably gonna get a little fucked up. That's what I'm telling you. Alright? God gives you what is necessary. Understand that. You know, the devil is vanity. You see now, these are high things. Very high things. And I'm not gonna lie. This dynamic of reading scripture is King, uh, uh, King David format. It's for tactical reason. The Bible is very tactical. Everybody in the world could benefit from it, from any asset of life, because I am the truth, the life, and the way. Right? He's no respecter of persons. The truth. That has nothing to really do with religion. Religion is a form of a discipline. God does want your obedience, but he doesn't want your discipline. They're two different things. He doesn't want robots. He wants that common understanding, you know, a higher aptitude of etiquette. Samurai. The napkins are already rolled out. You got responsibilities. Tell me God is not gangster about his shit. Right? 
Everybody wants to just see Christ as some dude holding a lamp. You guys, they were exchanging money outside of the church. And Jesus took off his equivalent of a belt and just started whipping all of those dudes. And not one of them thought to fight back. And it was a lot of them. Doesn't that sound like a very old spirit? How old and wise do people really think they are? Said the redwood tree. The whispers in the wind, the stories in the leaves. All things, all things you guys are spiritual. And if Christ is the truth and the life and the way, an extra D, we would be inside his body. The Bible says, wake, O ye sleep, resurrection. Maybe there's a bigger body we gotta wake up and we're doing it. Fighting off all this disease. Staying pure amongst iniquities. For them who do not know themselves. Everyone's in on it. Everyone who doesn't have the same spirit in truth is against us. And they ain't got no codes, laws, and the senseless. That's why when they step to me, I dislocate the splinters. And stay away from the boys in blue. And this red and blue dynamic. I expose and oppose either one. And I fear that in my truth, which is not the truth, a slight of error that I give you guys bad information. But one for one and two for two. Everything I said so far has became the truth. I'm not saying I'm a prophet. Let's not go down there. And I ain't leading anybody anywhere. But I'm very far from evil. But not every nigga keeps it legal. And I gotta stand for the truth. And they gotta fall for the youth. Quick games, that's what we living in. For some, life is a blessing, others a sentence. Not really clean, in need of repentance. There's nothing you do that can cause remittance. That's the truth. It's all him and none of you. You and him and he and you. 
And that's the confusion of the other religions. Because before we fell, Earth was to reflect the world in heaven. But when we fell, it created a mirror, not a reflection. If you lift your left hand in the mirror, your right will go up. So it's not exact. Everything wrong, matter of fact, the upside down is really real. Serpent, most subtle, beast of the field. But even more subtle, this guy, let me yield. That every time the serpent is mentioned, it's, it's mentioned specific the serpent, as in the only one, not the serpents, plural, entire race. But specific to the one which in Ezekiel we find the devil was the one. who changed into a red dragon, who was cursed to the ground. And dust of the field shall be his meat. We are made of carbon. It's spiritual. That's what I mean by the upper playground. It has nothing to do with what you see but everything to do with what you perceive. Those are two different things. These are the splinters. So if you come for me, no one goes and no one enters. That ain't a threat. I ain't said nothing scary. I'm just being honest. It's not one specific group. They're all around you. Either they know the truth about Christ or they don't know anything at all. Because what can the dead know? And if there be other gods and the other gods are different, why do their subjects all are under the spell of the Book of the Dead? All those gods are also. And any knowledge that they have to give with it. <laughs> the jealousy is they all know they're dead and that he existed. Yeah, my bad, man. And I, I don't mean to rhyme at all, man. It just happens all the time in the spirit. It's not something I can help. I get lifted. <laughs> People would think me crazy. Except it's crazy how I make so much sense. So. Deja vu in the matrix is when something repeats again. The spiritual interface collapsing into the physical. When Neo had deja vu. And we also didn't have it. Sometimes we see the exact same person in a place they would never be. It might not be them. Or an overlap or emergence of time where both of them. That's a reflection. A portal, a choice, a dimension. Shit. 
right? That's like a glitch in the matrix. How did I do so much in my life? Same day, different places. Right? Maps. Right? So the mirror represents a merging point. Right? Offering a door. The doors of Janice. She's to face it. The Gemini. Choices. Yeah. It's hard to be the superposition unless you're precise enough to be in the superposition with just a fraction of a more to the good. That's the only way you could battle someone who's double-minded. Where you win. Devil don't play fair. And in this day, the rise of the bathroom. One for two and two the same. For all those that don't know his name. You have to show people who believe they're free, they're under mind control. That has to happen between two poles, the red and the blue, but neither one. Weighing stations and scales of the dragon. That's the power that you're under. So, going back to this mirror, when you see deja vu, you'll know you're at a checkpoint or you're crossing into a slightly different reality. This must be how they broken up CERN. CERN is controlled by a supercomputer. The one in Texas is called the Beast. CERN was built in St. Puglia, France. The destroying angel was called Apollyon. Etymology. It's built underground where they had the Temple of Apollos, the god of Hades. Techno sorcery. Now there's chips in the medicine. Diagnosed ADD. I don't pay attention. How many of y'all think I don't pay attention or have focus issues? No medicine. If you're taking some type of psychiatric fucking medicine, Hey man, might not need that. The Holy Spirit balances. Mental illnesses are often supernatural. But if they're balanced, extra powerful, the machinations of incomplete faith to want to do something 
that can't be done? What knowledge is there for that? If you didn't think the same way as everyone else, something's wrong with you. You need medicine. Mind control. Programming. The pill is the code that goes into the matrix the ones and zeros and alters the state of your mind. The benefit is good before time. But what it takes, it keeps forever. Damn, that devil's mighty clever. Something to think about. In this place, man, I was thinking, I got this flower on top of my refrigerator and the brand is called Pamela's. Now, nigga, in my life, the only type of flower I ever heard of is called gold metal. I didn't even know there was any different other types of flower ever. But I got Pamela's up there. And I'm thinking, the, the packaging of it is all fancy and shit. It comes in like a bag, right? It doesn't come in the, in, the, in the paper, it comes in a bag. You get, it's resellable, right? Fancy shit, right? I got it at like this health food store called Sprouts. <laughs> Okay, healthy shit, hipster, hipster type shit, you know what I'm saying? But they had this tea there that I liked, and they were the only place that had it. But everything in there, overpriced. But shit, I was frying chicken that night. Fuck you want me to do? Right, temptation. The packaging on this fucking flower that's like maybe a fourth of the flower you would get in the paper is so fancy. Like it's even got colors that you wouldn't typically have. More on the pastel side of the game. Okay. So this shit is like two times the price of the regular paper flower. And they don't even have that brand gold medal at this type of store. It's fancy. Right? And I'm thinking to myself, how many niggas buy this type of flour each week from this store? Are they selling out? Do they replace it every time they get a truck in? Hell no. No way. No one's buying that shit. Hey, man. All the other bags were there. The store gets busy, but I doubt people buy flour there. So, where's this company getting this money to fucking have these awesome fucking labels and resealable bags to put flour powder in? Huh? Unless there's different realms. Right? Unless they each realm is like an octagon. Right? And they connect together. That's like a honeycomb. A hive. Right? We gotta take over the fucking hive. People think Christianity has been taught everywhere. Probably not exactly, okay? Oh, my phone is tripping right now. But. Hang on one second.
All right, man. So each each uh, of the octagons represents a realm. Okay, and I think the realms either we move or the realms move around, and there's doorways within those realms to other realms. So you can live the same reality, but by going through different realms. And what you're going against is the hive, because all the other worker bees work for the uh, work for the work for the uh, the queen. Right? The union. Right? And the queen. If if there's a queen of the hive, there's a queen there's a queen of the world. She she probably runs it. Hypothetically speaking. Spiritual allegory. Interfacing. You know what I mean? So, uh, if you take the symbol of a honeycomb, let's say you take three of those octagons. You got two up top and one octagon connected at the bottom, right? That's a symbol for like a beehive, right? Now. If you scale back and you look at that, that looks like a molecule, doesn't it? So there's also levels in internal kingdoms, right? The ones that don't know themselves, they're pretty much all external. They're, they're damn near naked, basically. I'm just, I'm just being honest. I try to avoid people because I'm, I'm hella respectful of people's privacy. But honestly, I usually just think tactically in case someone's trying to set me up or coming after me. Naturally. Cause I'm hella social, I ain't had friends in a while. You know what I mean? I'm not scared. I just don't want this world to get the best of me. Okay? So you're going against all the other worker bees in the hive. Microcosmically. And the queen would be the mother goddess. The red dragon, Afri African millipede. Right? God didn't say that the serpent at the tree would lose his limbs, he just said, upon your belly you shall go. That makes him an insect. That's an African millipede. Before we know, we remember him, Revelation the allegory, he, he turns himself into a red dragon, but originally he's a cherub. He has like an ox-like head. It's like a Chicago bull. That's, that's the dude, that's the dude that's hating on us, bro. Yeah, I guess just because like, we're not under his mind control. We're like that dude in The Witcher. You know what I mean? God, God put, he put a seal on us, so the locusts of the field, they can't hurt us. That's why target, like, when they target you, they just annoy the living fuck out of you. But yeah, they'll never, They'll never go any further of that than that because God, they're not afraid of us. They sure in the fuck know who God is though. 
he's kind of hard to miss, which makes him, even as demons, more wise than atheists. So what happens to humans is manipulation. The body follows the mind. The stronghold is the mind. If they don't have control of their brain, they sure in the fuck don't have control of their mind. Control the mind, you control the body. Tactically, people are worried about having many, 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 what do you call it, followers. But me, I'd rather speak to the person who leads many followers. It's more effective and I don't like too much attention. Still the same. God is a thing. So, we are speaking about very high things, the beehive, and common ways that people think. And when we look at it, it doesn't make sense. But we all had to do the education. That's mind control. The beehive is spiritual. Right? So, we have the beehive and the polarity of the blue and the red dynamic creates electricity, alternating currents. Okay? This creates power and that's what we have in the earth is currency. It can either be water or electricity. But mainly electricity, because we charge a card. In scripture it's written, and I seen Satan fall as lightning does to the earth. Stock market. You cannot serve two gods. You cannot serve the true and living God. And you can, or, 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 or you can serve the God of Mammon, which means money in, each in, in, in Egyptian religion or whatever. In the Egyptian God, the God of this world is money, Mammon. You can't do both. It's not possible. So. We are talking about power. It doesn't say. God doesn't say. You can't have lots of money. But you cannot serve it. You cannot love it more than him. It's a utility at best. You could do more with your mind. To have only what's necessary, that's discipline. What we would call religion. But it's better not to want it all. These currencies and these revenue streams and these stock markets, look at the businesses around you in the city and look at the number of codes for stock markets. Is it the same? Stock options.
This world was a test when we entered into the game and jumped in. <laughs> we wanted to know who was real. Yeah, it was a real wager. See, what's real doesn't qualify what you do out there on the fucking streets. Nah, that's too easy. Uh-uh. When you stand in a fight, you won't win naturally. This is not militant. Because I know my enemies is watching me. It's precise. You got to stand for truth. Because if the truth moves, if he is not consistent, what happens to you? Who could know? Knowledge. That's the day you're living in is confusion. Inside the internal system of a man. You have a job in the earth and a job to live. One supersedes the other. Do the math. What life will be taken from me? Our entire life we're buried. We just haven't figured it out yet. Time. These things are wisdoms. I'm gonna close this out, man, with uh, one last uh, memory here from the other side. Now, when you was a sperm, When you was a sperm, your life as a sperm was actually a very long time. For many galaxies ago. I know y'all niggas laughing now, cause y'all like this nigga good and crazy, right? I don't give a fuck. Ask God if it's true. Your life as a sperm, you were on a fucking spaceship. You know, with the rainbow colors and shit like that. You were on a spaceship. That line you jumped out of was a spaceship, but it only showed the line on the game screen. Right? But, and, and, and everybody's waiting in this spaceship, and it's, and it's like all white on the inside, and it has round windows. And you know, there's this girl with black hair, and she's like leaning up against the window, just like longing. You know what I'm saying? She's like kind of sad or hopeful. You know, people be waiting. They made a music video about this, some weird trip hop music video from back in the 90s. But that was like your life as a spur. It felt like it took forever for you to get to where you were supposed to go. (laughs) 
Ask God if it's true. A new kingdom and a new earth creation. We can't go backwards here. You understand? Testicle. Pioneer means face of God. All seeing eye. Figure it out. Understand? That God in Christ, Holy Spirit, masculine. That the life comes from a man. The egg fertilizes. But without the sperm, there is no life in there. A room. That's the womb we're in. The video game. The Matrix. <sighs> Remember the spaceship also. Never forget when people be throwing up their hoods and signs and shit like that. <laughs> Talking about own life, homie, own life, cuz. Right? Representing the street that they just barely live on. I sound like a dick, Donna. But at least it's true. To them, I say, remember the spaceship. Never forget where you come from. That's a double entendre. Yeah. When a baby is formed, it originally has a tail, the old kingdom. Diamonds in your head, stars in the sky. All formed within. Nine months in, your tail becomes your spine. When you're birthed, you're crowned outside. Some get old, legend has it, some never die. Something to think about. Something to think about, man. The earth, the earth is a woman. She receives seed to grow vegetation. something to think about so you could say your aura is like your scope of awareness but to be cordial amongst men considering don't show your spoil Anyhow, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here, y'all. I might close out with one other song or something. But peace, peace and blessings be with you all. This is uh, Spiritual Interface, I guess, too. I'm out. <laughs>